Hi guys, let's read the internal security section of the 12th series of ALS Current Affairs 2019-2020. The first topic is INS Sunena. Recently, Indian naval ship INS Sunena completed its 80-day long anti-piracy mission in the Gulf of Aden. It is the second Saryu class patrol vessel of the Indian Navy. It is an indigenously designed and built naval offshore patrol vessel NOPV. It was built by state-owned Goa Shipyard Limited GSL and was commissioned into the Navy fleet on 15th October 2013. It is designed to undertake fleet support operations, coastal and offshore patrolling, ocean surveillance and monitoring of sea lines of communications and offshore assets and escort duties. It is currently assigned to the Navy Southern Naval Command, SNC, based in Kochi. In June 2018, the vessel was involved in Operation Nistar, a humanitarian assistance and disaster relief HADR mission to evacuate Indian nationals from Cyclone Hit. Socotra Islands in Yemen. INS Sunena, along with Kolkata class stilt guided missile destroyer INS Chennai D 65, was also sent to the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman under Operation Sankalp. In June 2019, to protect Indian shipping interests amid tensions in the Strait of Hormuz. Now let's come to the next topic that is malware Cerberus. Recently, the Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI, sent alerts to all the states, union territories and the central agencies on a malicious software named Cerberus that uses an update related to the COVID-19 pandemic. The Central Bureau of Investigation issued an alert on the basis of the inputs received from Interpol. Cerberus. It is a banking trojan. It is primarily used to steal financial data such as credit card numbers. Trojan. So, what are trojan? The Trojan is a type of malicious code or software to damage, disrupt, steal or inflict harmful action on data or network. The Trojan can also use overlay attacks to trick victims into providing personal information and can capture two-factor authentication details. Overlay attacks and overlay attack happens when an attacker places a window over a legitimate application on the device. When the target application is running, the overlay opens messages or data input forms identical to the real ones. Victims enter information, example, login credentials or bank card numbers, believing that they are dealing with the original program. Two-factor authentication. It is a two-step verification security process in which users go through two authentication processes to verify themselves. Banking Trojan is a malicious program used in an attempt to obtain confidential information about customers and clients using online banking and payment systems. Working of Cerberus It takes advantage of the COVID-19 pandemic and sends SMS to lure a user to download the link containing the malicious software. It deploys its malicious application 
usually spread via phishing campaigns to trick users into installing it on their smartphones. Phishing The email or text message carrying a link appears to come from a trusted source like a bank. The link takes to a fake website and once details like login name and passwords are entered, the login credentials reach the hacker. Now let's come to the next topic that is Agni Prashtha, Missile Park. The foundation stone for a missile park named Agni Prastha was laid at INS Kalinga by CMDE commanding officer in the presence of Vice Admiral Flag Officer Commanding in Chief Eastern Naval Command ENC on May 29, 2020. The missile park Agni Prashtha will be dedicated to all the officers, sailors and support staff of INS Kalinga who has served in this premier base of the ENC since its establishment in 1981. The park also commemorates the award of the prestigious unit citation to INS Kalinga for the year 2018-19. The missile park has been set up with a replica of missiles and ground support equipment GSE that showcased the evolution of missiles handled by the unit. The exhibits have been created from scrap or obsolete inventory which have been reconditioned in-house. So what are its significance? The park aims to capture glimpses of missile history of INS Kalinga since 1981 till date. The main attraction is the P-70 Amethyst, an underwater-launched anti-ship missile from the arsenal of the old Chakra, Charlie 1 submarine, which was in service with the Indian Navy during 1988-91. The park will also provide a one-stop arena for motivation and stimulation of inquisitive minds regarding the missiles and related technologies from school children to naval personnel and their families. It is also intended to encourage a feeling of ownership and pride in the role of the unit and highlight the necessity of contribution of all personnel irrespective of rank or trade towards the overarching objective of ordinance availability of ordinance availability reliability and delivery on target each and every time now let's come to the next topic that is dark web. Recently, internal documents and email details of employees belonging to Defense PSU, BEML, Bharat Earth Movers Limited have been leaked on marketplaces in the dark web. This leak has been reported by a US-based cybersecurity firm, Cybel, on June 9, 2020. Earlier also, there are many instances of a data leak on dark web like the recent one. Over 1 lakh national IDs of Indians put on dark web for sale. Dark web or dark net. Dark web or net is the virtual equivalent of a black market. It is part of the greater deep web, a network of secret websites that exist on an encrypted network and is not accessible through search engines. The USP of a dark website is the anonymity it offers and the near impossibility of tracking it down. So what are its concerns? Threat to security, secret communication by the terrorist and other antisocial elements can be used for their nefarious purposes. Harm the democratic setup. 
illegally gathered voter registration information using the dark web could be used to influence elections. Threat to privacy. This platform can be used illegally to encroach on the right of privacy of the others. Illegal business. This can be used in drug smuggling, child pornography, which eventually affects the socio-economic fabric of the nation. Heaven of hackers. These platforms can be used by the hackers for cyber-related crimes like money laundering, phishing, etc. No trained manpower. There is a lack of trained technical experts, that is hackers. What are the advantages? Used for visual blowing. The deep web provides a degree of anonymity which is great for freedom of speech in instances where it may be harmful to voice your opinions. Interoperability of agencies to keep the communication between different security agencies in private. Innovation and technology upgrade the unhindered flow of information promotes improved technology and innovation. Indian Cyber Security Scenario In India, the Information Technology Act deals with cyber crime and comes under the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. There are only six sections in the law that deal with cyber crime. CERT IN the Indian Computer Emergency Response Team is a government mandated information technology IT security organization. The purpose of CRTIN is to respond to computer security incidents, report on the vulnerabilities and promote effective IT security practices throughout the country. So that's all guys. See you in my next video. Bye.